Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started today, and what we're going to do is we're going to glue the root edge of the fins where it meets the body tube. And um, it's going to be a structural thing and a contouring thing called a fillet. And we're going to not need anything special today. And the first thing we want to do, and again, I'll take pictures and put them in the videos. We're going to take one of our stir sticks and we're going to draw some lines. We're going to take this and put it right along the fin. We're going to be drawing lines. And what we're drawing lines for is for tape that we don't want to get the JB Weld all over the rocket. So that line is there and then we're going to take in the same place and we're going to lay it against the body tube. Hold it down and draw a line there. And all three bays that we have a bay here, we have a bay here, and we have a bay here. So just like we did one fin at, that we glued it on, we're going to do this process in three different steps. Is we're going to glue this bay let it set up, let it harden up, and then we do the next bay. When that's all done, we would do the last bay. So I have the lines all drawn on here, and I'm going to put this in my fancy little holder, and I'm going to take the masking tape, and I'm going to tape where those lines are. And remembering that where tape goes onto the cardboard tube, we're going to take some of the sticky off of it by putting it on our shirt. And we're going to put tape right on those lines. When I get ready to start doing the actual epoxy, I'm going to move the camera around so you can see how to do this. And this is just keeping the epoxy where I want it. That it's not going to get all over the fans. And it's going to be nice and pretty looking. Where the tape goes around, I can just fold that around on the fan. Or I can use the fan to help cut the tape. On the back edge, just to the edge of where the tube, the cardboard tube ends. Same thing on the front. Just right where the cardboard tube ends. that around, fold that around. Again, it's right where the cardboard tube ends. So what I've done is I've used a stir stick, made a line on the fin itself, made a line on the body tube, and then I tape those off. I'm also going to put one piece of tape right down the middle there in case I drip any epoxy. I don't want it to get on the cardboard part of the rocket. And as soon as we get done with this, we're going to pull the tape off. So we're going to start out with uh, about three inches of epoxy. I'm not sure how much we're going to need, but we're going to start at least with three inches. Once we get this mixed up, I'll go ahead and move the video around, or the camera around. It's really cold in my shop today, 
So this is going to take a minute. So I was saying we're going to move the video camera around so that we can get a better view of this going on. We're getting pretty close to being done. Um, we're going to do this and then we'll have to attach some uh, rail guides and put the baffle in will be the last segment I believe on the construction. going to be using the popsicle stick too. One interesting thing on the popsicle sticks is some of them one end isn't perfectly round. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting the JB Weld in here and we're going to be smoothing it out with a popsicle stick to give it a nice contour. And so we want to make sure that we get a good popsicle stick that has nice round edge on it and not kind of choppy and so we're going to mix this up, okay we have the epoxy, the JB Weld all mixed up and we're going to apply it with one of the little stirring sticks and I have this turned a little bit so that you can see it in the video a little bit better. I'm just going to take a very small amount and I'm going to start at one end. and just put some right down where both those parts meet. Once you get to the tips or the trailing edge, we can follow that right around and not worry about getting it right to the tape. Then we're going to take our popsicle stick, making sure it's nice and rounded, and we're going to hold it at a 45 degree angle towards the front of the rocket. We don't want to go perpendicular. We're going to start the very back and pull it forward. When we get to the end, be very careful when you slide off. So. I I've taken a little bit of it off, it's nice and smoothed out, and we're going to go on to the next one. Turn this up a little bit. And our three inches of epoxy is going to be very close.
be very close. So when you squeeze out your epoxy, go a little bit past the three inch mark. And you should have enough. Okay, I'm going to clean the stick. We're going to start with a nice clean stick. I'm going to start at the very end. I'm going to angle 45 degrees forward. And I'm going to pull this forward. When I get close to the end, I'm going to be very careful and I'm just pulling off the excess. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the tape off. If I can remember the order that I put it on, that helps taking it off. And this tape has glue all over it, so be careful with that. So there we have our um, fillets, and they're both structural and they're aerodynamic. Um, so we would let this set up overnight or however long you've been letting things set up, and then we would go around, do this one next, let it set up, go around, and do the last one. While this is setting up, make sure that it's um, straight up and down, parallel, so that they flow or they set up evenly. I'll take some pictures of this. Um, and we'll go from there. So if you have any questions, um, have your teachers contact me and we'll go from there. And then we'll clean up.